Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for returning and sharing your time with me today. So based on the title of the video, you already know what we're about to do. We are about to unstuff my 100 envelope challenge. And also a few um, of my other completed challenges just to make it a little bit more spicy. Now, I have started the 100 envelope challenge at the beginning of the year, so on January 1st. So it just feels so good to actually be able to accomplish and complete this challenge. So let's introduce the 100 envelope challenge and show you guys the completed side because I did finish this challenge yesterday. Um, I believe I stuffed $1,353 to complete this challenge. Now, the reason why I didn't upload that video is because um, the video cut out short on me, you guys. So I didn't have enough footage to actually show you guys, but I was super excited and I'm still super excited because it just looks so beautiful. Like, look at it, you guys. All of them are filled. It's just, oh wow, this is floating. It's just amazing to see this completed. It feels good in your hands. I kind of don't even want to unstuff it, but I need this money to go where it needs to go. And that is it. So if you guys are interested in watching me unstuff my 100 envelope challenge, as well as some of my completed challenges, please stay. We have my saving challenge binder right here. And we completed three challenges. So let me grab those. All right, so we completed January's, February's, and March's scratch off saving challenges. So we are going to be unstuffing this today. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I was super devastated when I realized that the camera wasn't filming um, yesterday. So I am really hoping that we don't have any glitches with that today. All right, we'll just throw these out the way and bring over my 100 envelope challenge and get to unstuffing. Oh my gosh, I don't even wanna to touch it, you guys. I'm not even gonna to lie to you. Just look at how it looks. It is so beautiful. That's how it looks from the top, from the side, and from the bottom. It's just gorgeous, you guys. I just wanna flip through it forever and ever. I really do like this binder. So if you guys are interested in this binder, I'm gonna link the the um, Amazon link on where I got this specific binder, but Amazon has so many of them. Plus it, it was so inexpensive, it was less than $20. And I had to buy the sticker separately, but even with the stickers, it was literally no more than $20, $20, $22. All right, let's begin. <sighs> okay, let's go. I'm not quite sure how long this video is gonna be, but we are going to get it popping. So for the last week, I have been catching up on a lot of your videos. Um, as you guys know, if you're subscribed to me, I automatically subscribe back to you guys. And then I also support your channel by watching your videos as well as um, commenting on your videos as well. So if I commented on your videos, you know that I watched it fully. Trust me, I do want you guys to get your watch hours. And yeah, so at this moment, I have so many subscribers and it takes me a lot more time than it did when I initially started this to you know watch your videos but i am getting there for you guys now i am going to keep these stickers on here because i do want to reuse this um this binder 
I don't think I'm going to start the 100 envelope challenge again right off the bat because as you guys know, I am trying to complete this uh, three times at least this year. So, And we are already getting filled up with these fives. If you are new here, um, just know that I have hit 500 subscribers. So I am going to be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, I'm going to actually post that video right after I post um, this one. And it's just going to let you guys know um, what you guys are going to win, what the giveaway is, and how to enter. But I promise it's going to be something simple like subscribe and comment down below just so I know that you want to enter the giveaway. This is my gift to you, so I don't want to make it a chore. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do to make this a little faster, I think it will make it faster, is I'm just going to pull out all of the money and then I will undo it after hopefully that makes it a little faster it is so much more fun to unstuff than it is to stuff it because at the beginning you guys know that this was such a chore for me but unstuffing it is just so satisfying like i can feel the thickness of the money with like in my fingers, so I just know. I just know that I have some money. <laughs> I haven't decided how I'm gonna allocate these funds. I do know I do want to put some money into, of course, me and the kids savings account, as well as some into my education. But I haven't decided exactly how much is going to go where, so that will actually be on the whim. Because let's be honest, the most I planned was just to complete this. I didn't plan everything else just yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I am like... What's that song? Cause I am dripping in finesse. It don't make no sense. If you guys haven't did this challenge yet, please do the challenge. I know that it, it, it does take a lot of commitment to achieve and complete this challenge. So when people do complete this challenge, um, I do feel super excited for them as well as just know how much dedication it took for them to do so. Um, but please, all you have to do with this challenge once a year, and you don't have to do seven envelopes in a week. You can do however many envelopes you can in a week, um, based on whatever timeline that you have for yourself. I just think that everyone should do this challenge because to me, it's just satisfying like when you realize like hey i just saved 75 dollars. i just saved a hundred dollars like these are very much so large amounts you guys no oh, snaps not pulling them out all the way All right, so now that we are almost done, we are already at 81. Yeah, this was a lot faster. I wanna ask any mothers of teenagers or even if you just have some advice in general for some advice, right? So as you guys know, I am taking care of my cousins. They are in my placement. Now, one of them are is already 18. So she's 18, she's in the young adult program and whatnot, but Yesterday was her prom, and I didn't even know. She didn't even tell me. 
I mean, she asked me if, if, if I can help her pay for her nails for prom. But when she said it, to me, it was just so far off, right? Because she didn't give me a timeline or anything like that. So on Friday, when she messaged me and she was like, hey, um, are you still going to be able to help me with my nails? I'm like, yeah, how much is it? And anyways, I ended up sending the money and whatnot. But when I asked her where she was at, she said she was at the nail salon. She never once said she was going to the nail salon after school. So I asked her about it. And then she said, yeah, well, my prom is tomorrow. So I need it done today. And I'm like, what? Like, I didn't even know that your prom was tomorrow. Like, you didn't say anything. I don't know. I don't know. But the part that kind of irritated me about the situation is she took it upon herself to go and spend a night at one of her friend's house and not let me know. Still to right now, she has not let me know that she was spending night at her friend's house. And I get it, she's 18, you know, the system does deem her as an adult or whatnot. But yet she still lives in my house responsibility free, so I don't know. Maybe it's a respect thing that I'm looking into that I'm asking for. Who knows, you guys? All right, you guys, look at it. Oh my gosh, it just... Can I, can I throw it? Can I throw it without losing any? Like, I see some 50s. <laughs> I see some pink. Oh, wow, you guys. I have really never been this excited about unstuffing a challenge. This is my first time completing this challenge. I attempted to do it last year and was just unable to do so, so I ended up stopping. Um, I probably didn't even get past 30 or anything like that, so this just feels like such a great accomplishment. I don't know who came up with this challenge, but whoever did, just know that I rock with you because this challenge was a blast. It kept me motivated. It kept me excited. <laughs> so... Yes. And um, let's put this up because these fives are getting crazy. All right, I'm not going to worry about how it looks just yet. I'm just going to put them in. And we can worry about that in a moment. Right now, the girls are getting ready because they are going to the movies and then going to get some panda. So I am trying to hurry up because in just a moment, they are going to be coming in here asking me for money. So, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm sorry, you guys. Bless me. I've been having some really, really... problematic allergies and then it's problematic because I never had I don't have allergies like I'm not one of the people who would like oh my gosh the flowers so it, it's very weird for me to have my nose itching and sneezing and acting like my mom because <laughs> that, that is definitely my mom <laughs> All right, this is, if I wasn't so excited, I'd probably be complaining about how long this is taking, but you guys, like, come on now. Like, you can't pray for something and wish for something, but then complain once you get it, right? So, as much as my body wants to, my mind and my heart's like, girl, this is a blessing. When it comes to the 100 envelope challenge, as you guys know, I am trying to do this at least three times this year. I don't think that I will be starting it um, again right off the bat. I think I'm going to take a couple weeks off to um, stuff some of my other challenges and catch myself up with those because I have been neglecting my other challenges just to make sure that I finish this challenge by this week. So 
because I did make that sacrifice, I do have to catch up on my other challenges. So that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of weeks. And then I'll probably start my 100 envelope challenge again um, the first week of May. Is anyone else thinking about doing a 100 envelope challenge that haven't done it before? And for those who are actively doing it right now, how far into the game are you? Are you just starting? Are you halfway through? Are you almost towards the end where you're going to be making a video like this? Like, let me know. Because I do want to watch you guys achieve and succeed, you guys. I want you to watch you guys succeed. Um, trying to get all the 20s. Besides my taxes this year, because um, that was the largest amount of taxes I received ever, this is the most money I've ever touched, I've ever held in my hand. Like, this is just wild to me right now. And, um, and I'm just proud of myself because this money right here is all earned income. So this is money like from my, from my paychecks and things of that such over time and stuff like that. So it's crazy to know that in four months, I literally saved over $5,000 when there was a time when I would save $5,000, don't get me wrong, but it came with a lot of sacrifice. So I wasn't, you know, buying the things that I wanted to buy. I was basically um, pinching pennies. So if I wanted something from the store, I wouldn't buy it because I wanted to meet this goal. But with budgeting, I'm able to save money as well as spend money. And it just makes things feel so, so, so much better when it comes to saving money. Because when I was saving money at first, basically pinching pennies and, and neglecting myself from the things that I wanted just to save money, um, yeah, it, it was exciting watching my bank account grow, but it was so draining and then I felt so defeated. So I don't feel defeated now. I have my short-term savings binder and what makes it even best about my short-term savings binder is that I'm not one of those budgeters who put money into their short-term binder and just save it. I'm like always in and out of those envelopes, um, they're short term savings for a reason. So if I need something from the beauty category or from Walmart, I'm buying it. So my short term savings never really allocate a lot of money because I'm in and out of it. But that's the way that I like it because that's the way that I'm able to enjoy saving by being able to save and budget, but also being able to spend the money when I need to or simply when I want to. So yeah, because I know a lot of people with their short-term savings, they, they don't want to touch it as if it's their sinking funds, as if it's their long-term savings. And I just hope that you guys would realize that there's no fun in saving money if you're unable to enjoy it. I'll say that again. There is no fun in saving money if you're unable to enjoy it. And that's speaking from somebody who just last year had a fear of spending money. You can ask my brother, you can ask my dad, you can ask anybody. I had a fear of spending money. As funny and stupid as that sounds. <laughs> but my brother, he would come down from Germany and he would, um, he would basically come down and and my brother is the type of person where if he wants it, he buys it. There's no second guessing. There's no questions asked. If he sees something, he wants it and he buys it. So every time he comes in town, 
his presence makes me want to spend money, right? Because now I'm finally around someone who's spending money and spending a lot of it in front of me. So it makes me want to spend money. But So I would tend to spend money. I would buy whatever I see at that moment. But then guess what, you guys? I would get home and within an hour, I would call him and then I'll be like, do you think that I should have bought this? Do you think that it's worth it? And I would just question him. And then within like 48 hours, I was back at the store returning exactly what I just bought. Yeah, <laughs> it was that bad. It was, it was that bad, you guys. I know how silly that sounds, but it was seriously that bad. I had a fear of spending money. And that just was rooted from the issue that I had back in 2018 where I was broke. So I was, so the fear came from me being afraid of being broke, but then me being afraid of being broke then made me afraid to spend money. So, yeah. I hope that makes sense because when I used to try to explain it to my family members, they would just laugh because they would not understand. But yeah, I was that type of person who had a couple thousand dollars in their bank account and and was scared to spend ten dollars on a t-shirt. Like would call someone, like not even scared, but I would literally call someone and like my dad and my brother and I would be all like, do you guys think it's worth it for me to buy this shirt? <laughs> do you think it's worth the price? It was, it was sickening, you guys. It was very, very sickening. I'm just happy that money doesn't have that much control over me as it used to because it did okay you guys we are almost done Oh my gosh, is anyone wondering what I'm wondering? Like, where am I about to put this money at? And not asking like what envelopes is it about to go into, but how is it gonna fit in my envelopes? Oh, my envelopes are about to be busted wide open. Oh my gosh, you guys, this video is already at 30 minutes. Hopefully with some editing, it gets cut down just a tad bit. Every time I think I'm done with something, it just keeps coming, coming, coming. There's no ending to it. Well, there is an ending. I just don't want it to end. <laughs> I don't want it to end. These are all just 50s. Okay.
you guys. I am done. Ooh, sorry, you guys. I have to leave for a minute and get some water. Ah, don't judge my water choice. Shoot, I get the cheapest water. That's how, I'm able, that's how I'm able to save so much money by buying cheap, great value water. Because <laughs> I know you water drinkers, y'all be, be trying to judge. Mm -mm, don't judge my water choice. All right. We take a win whenever we can, and the win is that I'm drinking it. All right, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, get back in there. Whew. All right, so I am going to do a quick counting, and then that way we can get started on stuffing my 5,000 plus saving challenge money. Okay, let's start off, you guys. Um, all right, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 800. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. What thousand? Oh my gosh, we're at $2,000 already. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, guys. Let me start counting again. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, Okay, I just want to make sure that this is in frame, so I'm going to bring this down just a tad bit, just a tad bit. You guys see this? You guys see this? I'm at $4,000 right now. Crazy! All right. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. Come on, little 5, 20. Don't, don't be like that. That's 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's 300. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 400. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty. 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 90, 90, 90. That's 500, you guys. So this little clog of clockness is 1,000 as well. So we are now at 1, 5,000. 
and This is 440 right here. Now we still got a little bit more fives. 15, 55. 455. 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. This is 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is 60 right here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I apologize. The way I count is so weird, but I think that I accumulate all of it. So this is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 5,500, 5,600, and 5,660 dollars. Whew. All right. With four, yeah, so with four of my saving challenge completed, including 100 envelope challenge, I have saved $5,660, you guys, since January. And I'm super proud of that. I'm about to put this money. I apologize if it's upside down and it bothers some of you guys. I'm just about to put this money in this tray so I can grab it and take me a nail numb. Nail numb. Nail. What is it called? A numb. A nail thumb. Nail numb. I don't know, you guys. A picture for my video.
Okay, you guys, I can't even fit this like in my hand to even make it look nice. So, This is an amazing problem to have. So yes, you guys, this is $5,660. I am going to be stuffing this money into my envelopes, but I am gonna do a part two because I believe that this video is probably an hour long at this moment. So please, you guys, stay tuned for part two, which will be uploaded right after this video. So once you get done watching this, go back to my channel and click on part two. So that way you guys can see exactly how I decided to split up my 100 envelope challenge and my savings challenges money. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me here. I hope that you guys will join me for my next video as well as join me May 1st when I restart my 100 envelope challenge. And let me know down below if you guys are interested in doing the 100 envelope challenge with me. Have a great day, you guys, and toodles.